I know, I just turned in the fuel on. Oh, good idea, right? Yeah. Might, might be needed. Ignition, though. This button it says ignition. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Right up. Okay. Nah, I'm gonna wait for you. You might need to sit for a second to warm up. That clutch. You you can't grab the engine; it will drop on you. You've got to keep going. I've only ever overridden this thing one other time. So I'm still getting used to it. And that was on flat land for about like 10 minutes, so I'm probably gonna drop it a couple times. Y'all get to see me fall. That'll be a good time. It's really still touching too because it's probably brand new bike to get off the guy. Didn't really want to use it anymore. Harder seat, goddamn. She's off with my mom right now, so I'm the only one that can ride it. I am the husband one. I ain't skilled enough yet to do a wheelie. If I was, I'd be doing it right now, but I ain't skilled enough yet. Oh, my first wheel, I'm gonna go off this, this thing. I got all my stuff on, I got my chest checker, my gloves. My helmet, my boots, my pants. Yeah, look at that, look at that throw he's up. Probably will. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, I do love my bike, no doubt. I'll keep it running forever, but you may have a lot of heads up left. I'm doing pretty well on it though. I, I like her a lot actually. I like the gearing, the gearing. This is a WR250F by the way. Y'all are wondering, the four-wheelers are Yamaha Raptor 350s, uh, the gray one's out of 2007, blue one's out of 2008, this is a 2009. Really, that looks like a brand new model. Doesn't it? Go!
Like, like I am pushing it too hard to make it to it. trashed by the people who owned her before I got her for 800 bucks and she didn't run. She threw a couple, maybe four or five hundred dollars into her, got her run and she ran for a couple hours and the arm holding the piston actually snapped because the people never changed the oil, never changed their fluids. It's just sad what, they, what people do in Louisiana to their bikes. It's just like you literally, all you had to do was maybe take five, ten minutes to change the oil, uh, maybe take 20 minutes. To, it's called shimming the valve. You just check a gap the top of the head you just take out the top of the engine check it check a gap make sure it's a certain gap and if it's not a gap just throw a couple little metal things in there they're called shims it, it's, hence the name shimming the valve but that's all that they needed to do and it'd be like a brand new bike but yeah but that's all they had to do and they just didn't and they just trashed it i mean valves are the things that give Y'all don't know what valves are. Um, valves are the things that give fuel to the inside of the engine so it'll combust and give it power. And then they take out the exhaust, like the, um, the excess air, right? The carbon dioxide and everything. They open and they take them out. That's literally all they had to do was just do that. And it would have been like a fucking showroom bike. But you know what? They didn't do that and they just crashed it. So I got it for 800 bucks when the kill switch was fucking around with it. Dropped like 500 to get the kill switch and everything tuned up, right? eventually gave out. I mean, I don't blame her. She was treated. I'm surprised. Y'all, if y'all are really into dirt bike, the fuel pump, it came out in pieces and she was still running. That's, that's just a, that's a, that's, that is an accomplishment to its own right there. Fuel pump coming out in pieces. If y'all know what a fuel pump is, it's literally, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's the thing that gets fuel to the engine, the pump fuel to the engine. Pump fuel to the valve and we put it to the engine. That came out in pieces. But, yeah. I don't know if I can get into You know how it is. It's difficult to get into neutral when it's running. You got it? I'll help you get onto it because you, you, it's not a little bit too tall. I'll help you balance it. I know. Are you good? You good? I'm going to let you go. watch her for a little bit my mom kill it around the track she actually used to do hair scrambles back in like the 80s I think 70s and 80s she used to do hair scrambles on Yamaha 3, 360s I think they were called they were yellow two stroke things 360 if y'all know the um, 350 things oh she almost dropped it there she got a little bit tail happy yeah but those things 350 cc it's aka the name Raptor 350 250cc, aka the name Yamaha WR250. Just the number after a number after a name of a four-wheeler. Oh wait, ORV is generally a CC. No, oh, she didn't drop it. I thought she dropped it. It's generally the CC. Yeah, but heads like all you need. I mean, track bikes. They generally now they're never over like really 250. I mean, 450s have a lot of power, but they're just heavy. Like around the trail and everything, you don't need anything other than that. That's a perfect trail bike. Because 450s are just too heavy. They're just way too heavy. I love the sound of that thing. I got my baby over there. I first rode on that. 
we had that YZ250 that we got for 800 bucks, got it up and running. We found that. The um, We had to short circuit it to get the start, but we got it. Ran it up the spillway. Um, spillway was some god awful place that only drunk rednecks go up in Louisiana. It was literally, we took that YZ250 up there. It's about the same size tires. We, sunk, we were driving, all of a sudden the rear tire sunk. The whole rear tire was engulfing mud. Just sunk, like straight up. The, rear, the top of the rear tire was here. And me being me, I was like, yeah, I got this. Ooh, I had a, that was, the bench was suction cupped into there. I had to pull her out. It was crazy. YouTube right there ranting to yourself literally even if you're recording you still ranting to you you're talking to yourself like the people that do a cycle well, I'm not saying everybody talks to himself but like they're talking like somebody else is here right you know, I'm crazy I mean I talk to myself all the time like why the fuck is this like if I'm working something why the fuck is this not working right gotta think okay that goes there that goes there I talk I like walk around do that like that goes there that goes there I just gotta do that every once in a while but hell yeah I love that bike it, we got that thing brand new. It was about six thousand bucks, and literally, if y'all in the dirt bikes, you'll know the exhaust wasn't didn't even change colors. Oh 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 oh! She she got it. Exhaust wasn't even changed colors yet. It had like less than like one or two hours on it. We got it. It was like about six seven thousand dollars new. We got it for like three thirty five hundred. Crazy snag for it. It's been a long time. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Here, I'll go All right. I can turn her around if you want me to. Don't let, don't, she likes it when you don't give a throttle. I love that bike, dude. That's my, that shit's my shit right there. That shit is literally my shit. I love that bike. If the shit ever broke down, I'd buy another one in the same year. That's why I'm looking for like an old... Like an old, like, well, my mom got it, an old Yamaha 360, like, out of the 70s or 80s. Just go and search one up. They're crazy bikes. They're amazing. Two strokes. Can I have it back yet, or are you just going to go again? Don't touch that front brake. Oh, my God. I know. It's really touchy, huh? Yeah. It. Yeah, I got it. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't like to go into neutral when she's running. I got, got it. it. Got it. Got her. Got it? Yeah. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna ride a couple more times and we can go to the and we can go and have some fun, alright? I'm taking a little bit faster now. A little bit. You feel the point. This is what they do, they leave their foot down and I, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm actually leaning my foot down. I'm actually leaning my foot down in the corner. Yeah, two point, I think this is 2.3 hours. Holy shit, dude. 2.3 hours in this thing. It's a crazy, like it's a little touchy because it still, got, it still hasn't been worn. And I probably just put my goggles on. One hand in the dirt bike. That was amazing. I just put my goggles on. And I one hand in the dirt bike. That was amazing. Wow, I almost lost it there. I ain't gonna lie. See how I'm leaning, this is how you turn with bike lean and just turn the wheel a little bit, just how you turn with bike lean. It's amazing, this bike is really cool. Hey look, right there! Yeah, come on, look at this. I figured out what it was. 
figured out miles, right? Yes. Six miles on it. How much? Who counts six miles? I know. Oh, yes, right? That's amazing. Yeah, like half half price. This is why this is why you go to Craigslist, people. <laughs> half price these things. It's like a 2009. It looks like a 2014. Yeah. Yeah. All the guy did was just buy it, and then let it sit in the garage. Yeah. All that shit. Uh-huh. Woo! I love my baby. Alright, you wanna just go back and send fun? Uh, whichever way you wanna go. I'm trying to think, you know, we'll, we'll try with the smaller hills. Yeah, and just work up to the bigger hills. Eventually. Eventually. really doesn't like it when you try to give her throttle to start. You have to give her like no throttle. Just don't even touch the throttle and she'll start fine. But the second you give her throttle, she'll just idle for a little bit. If you want to really idle, she'll just like cycle through for a bit and not start. It's really odd. It's like the score is the exact opposite. You have to give her the throttle to start. Well, I really like it. It'll take a little it'll take a lot longer if you don't. I get a flag on it. The 
feels like when I'm in a tub, it doesn't make the problem here, not what it's back into me. Yeah, but... But yeah, my mom's okay. Four wheelers okay. So I channel's a little bit bent, but she said it's okay. It don't happen, so we're not going to do that one, but... I'm not going to do Redneck Tokyo Drift on this thing, because I will kill myself trying to do that. The last video I ever made, I'll fucking upload it, I'll get a million views, and I'll be fucking YouTube famous. But I died! We need to make an outro and an intro. I want to make one, it's like, maybe like the, it's the perv, and it's like, get in the van with gaming or some shit. I think it's a good, little, I think it's a good slogan. Well, my slogan is, limits like fears are often just illusions. Remember that, you like. Then it's like fears are often just illusions. I'll make restoring series and I'll start restoring her. Cause I mean her her engine's good. It's got rebuilt, the transmission hasn't got rebuilt. The numbers don't match. It's an automatic um turbo thing. Turbo thing, turbomatic. Um 350 out of a 1974 Chevelle performance engine. It's got a lot of stuff, it's like 3000 bucks for the engine, it's less than a thousand miles in the rebuild, just did all the suspension, just did basically everything, did all the all the mechanical stuff to her. All I need to do is bodywork and interior and uh, basically restore a car. I honestly don't know which way to go with the dog. It's like, it's not a, it's, it's lifted in the back and lowered in the front. So it's like kind of like a drag fan skewer, but it doesn't have ginormous drag tires. But I don't know, I don't know what to go with it. Like with like a badass look or a classic look. If I go with the classic look, I'll pop maybe black, maybe shiny black with some um, silver stripes on her. Some nice silver stripes looking like really factory. Get the suspension back up to classic. But I don't know if I should use that or like a like a badass look, like fucking make it like black with fucking blue stripes, make a big ass blower coming out of the hood, put some big big drag slits on it. I honestly don't know which one to go with. I mean, I fucking love, I mean, I love it either way. But it's just like fucking. Do you want the classic to be a badass, or do you want it the badass to be a badass? Right? So which one do I pick? Like it's like the difference between picking fucking air and water. It's a really goddamn difficult decision. Probably go with air though because I need to breathe. I can live a little bit without water, but honestly, if I had a decision, I'd say I'm gonna take all the water away. I'd probably just kill myself. I do not want to fucking dehydrate, and die that way. That shit hurts. I passed out before with dehydration, being a dumbass, playing sports, not drinking for like a couple hours. That shit hurt. I woke up, didn't feel good. If you just be so weak and just like fucking hallucinating everywhere, it'd be fucking crazy. What? Yeah, I know. scary dude. This is literally fucking scary. Oh! Oh the skill! You saw that shit? I rolled her too but fucking imagine that everything was a-okay. Nothing is different, everything is the same. Yeah but I do really love going out here dirt bike and four wheeling my ass kinda hurts because this is a fucking hard ass seat. Like it's like a fucking sitting on a brick. Yeah but this is kinda what dirt bikes are. You're not supposed to really sit down on them so if you stand up but I'm a noob so I'm gonna sit down because I need all the help I can get. Fuck. I don't know about climbing a hill, that's gonna be a really different story. Just fucking gun it and hope really. I'm not really gunning because I can flip myself over backwards. This thing, this thing has weighs a lot less, but it does have a hundred less cc. But 
this thing will flip me over. I just think you do easier wheelies in that four wheel and that four wheel has double traction and a lot more CC. But this thing will flip me over. I almost had it flip me over the video. Y'all didn't see because it got corrupted on my computer because my computer corrupted a lot of shit for some reason. But yeah, but I almost put myself over backwards. That was like popping like near a 90 degree wheelie because I just barely touched the throttle and I just shipped it up. I was going over like three bumps, like three really big bumps, like motocross bumps. I fucking almost lost it. I'm thinking about putting a different clutch on this thing. This is clutch. It's like for motocross. When you um when you when you drop it, it won't stall in first, second, or third. Like if y'all know what stall is, if I just like when I when I like when I try to go start up a little bit ago and die, that's what stalling is. When you like don't get enough power and it's in too high of the gear for the speed fast stalling. Oh shit, like that. That just fucking yanked me a little bit. Y'all probably felt that. I felt that hard. You must be sand. Woo! Let's let her situate herself for a second. I don't think the clutch handle's done too bad. My leg did hurt a little bit right there. Let her, let her get herself. I'm good. I just dropped it. It came out of there and grabbed my... I got to wait for it a second. Oh, dude. eventually drop her, but at least it's in sand so she didn't, didn't get a lot of damage. Oh. See, that was another thing. Y'all always have that clutch. That will, no matter what what kind of gas you give her, she will always, she won't go anywhere. She might over rubber, but you won't drive yourself right into a fucking fence like I almost did. Taking my ass, taking my fucking time over these bitches. Don't want to drop her again. Sorry, baby girl, I dropped you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's fine though, she, she seems fine. I'm sorry to drop you, but you're okay, aren't you? That's exactly why you have gear on. That could have ended badly if I didn't have my gear on. Probably would have broke my ankle because that bitch just landed right on my leg and my leg hurt. Landed right on my ankle and my leg hurt. That means I put a lot of stress on my boots because these are like metal lined boots so they keep your ankle from breaking. They might break your leg, but they won't break a joint where it'll have to take a lot longer to heal on. May never work right again. I mean, I broke both my legs before. I'm still doing this. If I broke both my ankles, I probably wouldn't be. Because a joint takes, can never really heal right. And if it does, you're really lucky. Like I busted my finger and it never really healed right. My mom busted both of her fingers. Still played football, never really healed right. And my mom did play football. She's a badass. We tackled football with two broken fingers. This is a badass family. Don't fuck with us, we fuck with you. We fuck with you, motherfucker. I fucking kill you, bitch. Everything $5. I don't know where the fuck I went from Asian man to fucking, er, fucking, I'm gonna kill you, man, to fucking Asian man, or er, Chinese man. 
I don't know. Everything five dollars. I've heard some Asian people that sound like that. I'm not trying to be racist. I'm just saying. Probably could not have just shipped it up there because it's probably gonna be too fast. And then be like, well, you doomed yourself by saying you were gonna drop it. No, no, I didn't. Whenever you go riding on a trail, you always know you're gonna drop it. You might not. I didn't drop it the first time, but that was because we were literally only on flat land. So what are you gonna do about it, right? Just gotta bite the bullet and keep going. Bite the bullet, suck it up, keep going. All right, look at me, I'm still going, I just dropped it. Probably had that as a thumbnail, just fucking me on the ground, just like, shit! Oh, this is, this is fun, this is great. I'm having a great time over these bumps. Actually, I'm kind of getting used to these bumps. So you can see, my, it was just kind of the sand grabbed me in a weird way when I first started off that. That's kind of what fucked me. Just the sand kind of really grabbed my front wheel and turned it, and I just kind of got fucked. Yeah, but always remember, well, I could have ran right into the fence like there, and just remember that when you're riding, you always got your clutch. No matter how much power you get when you have the clutch, you will always stop. That was interesting, though. I think she's fine, though. She's acting fine. She just got a little bit flooded. Yeah, like Mom said, it's gonna happen. Drop, drops happen. You've got experienced riders, you see the guys in the motorcycle races. They drop it millions of times on the tracks, but they have the, they have like tens of tens of tens of years. Had years upon years of experience, and they drop it. And I'm not gonna hold anything against you if you drop it. I'm just I'm gonna hold something against you if you just never want to ride again because you drop it. Oh shit, I killed it. Let me get into a low gear first. God damn it. I don't give a fuck. I don't 
Obviously, it's your life, dude. Go live it. Fuck at the people who say you can't live it just the way you want to. I'll try it, yeah! And I'm literally just gonna hold the clutch in. Oh god, I'm already getting busy with the business. I'm gonna take this bitch really slow, real slow. I got her. I got her. I can. That's what I'm doing. Santa's my worst enemy. Yes, but more difficult. What? Uh, hold up, mate. No, I'm good. I'm good. Yep. Bet mine too. Bet my clutch handle too. About to pop off. It's dead. It's dead. Oh, that's the kill switch. I'm an idiot. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's full clutch. Full clutch. What? That's full clutch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Might have just snapped it out of adjustment, maybe. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, she's moving a little bit. Uh, not as much, no. Yeah, she ain't moving now, she's good. Yeah. To loosen it. Where are we going now? Hold up. What? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I was like I got halfway down and the sand's my worst enemy right now. You're learning. It is. And sometimes you have to just not use the brake and go a little faster than you want. Because if you use the brake, it clogs your tire down in the sand. True. If that was dirt, you wouldn't have a problem with huh. that. Yeah, the heavy sand. I mean, I looked at all of them. All of them have Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go in there and shoot up the middle. 
Yeah, I think we are. Meet you up there. I think, maybe. I don't know. Let's go and see. Let's go and see. Let's go and see. Uh, some? Oh yeah, let's go and see. Yeah, I'm back. Fucking dropping my tail, man. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go find the mountain while I go over here. I might try it. What? All right. I know I will. I uh, hell no. Nah. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't think I can. Kind of like get to that one part right there. Fucking bell. Hey! Hey, I got it. Love me. What you saying now?
know where you want to go. Go back. I know. Where you want to go? I can go ride that track again. Sure. Go and ride that. Get my bearings a little bit more, which is like. Get my bearings a little bit more, which is like. I'm starting to get used to it, though. Yeah, you are. You're doing a really good job. Really good. Alright. Do you want to go down one of these hills, or do you want to go in the valley? Let's go to the track. Okay. I haven't had really good experiences yet with hills. Well, going downhill. I'll get there eventually, but I'm not there yet. I'm good. for you? Way too tall. Hey mom, is this is this red light still flashing?
That's what I'm doing, my leg is cramping up. <laughs> 